Welcome to a video. I'm trying to get loads of things filmed today. The light is going. I've got no blinds on in here because we're halfway through the uh, renovation of here. This, this is such a better angle than before. What was I thinking? I had the camera over here last time in one of the old videos. So I'm trying to work. It's been so busy. Obviously I have my job at Luxury Promise and there's just been like so, oh, so much to do there today. And um, right. I am gonna squeeze one last video in before the light goes. It's already gonna go halfway through this video, FYI. Now, if you missed the casual reveal of my walk-in closet, I will link that video below. So it's just a super casual video, basically sharing the color of what I chose for this video, as you can see, but lots of in-depth information about the pain, what went wrong, why I chose this pain, why it's the best white paint, all of that details is before in the video before. Um, all the information about the mistake I made and how it cost me thousands and thousands and don't learn, like, learn from my mistakes. So, I will put a cutaway that will quickly film on my phone of all of this. I'm going to, basically we're going to organize my closet today. I never film this because I find it so overwhelming that I can't film and I need to get in the zone and I never film it. However, I've tidied and organized everything that's in my wardrobe. I'll show you in a minute, I don't want to lose this angle. Everything's done, everything's tidied away, everything's immaculate behind the doors, behind you. And I've cleaned all the shelves, they're freshly painted. Everything needs another coat, which I should have said in the other video. Um, I'm waiting for the decorator to come back, so it's, we're not quite there with the full reveal, no blinds. Um, well, I have my blinds, which we're putting up again tonight, but they're the old white ones. So I'm going to film, probably fast forward it, I'm going to film putting all of my bags away. I should probably do that whilst I'm still talking. Where's my step ladder gone? Okay, so I need to go get my step ladder. I'm going to start filming me putting my bags away because um, I have little few tricks that I do when I'm tidying my wardrobe. Is that even going to fit there? I need my step ladder because I'm too short. But yes, um, I've done all the hard work, like all the, you know, the organising, the cleaning, and now we're just going to put these back together. Oh, that needs a lot more in. I need to go get my step ladder. Okay, um, let me go get my step ladder. Plus, I can see my phone's ringing as well because I'm working. Okay, I've got my stool. Um, we're gonna put everything back together. So um, without further ado, let's go. Let me tell you one tip that I have actually. Oh, the light has already gone since we last spoke. I'm gonna have to put that ring light on, I think. So one tip that I am going to show you is, probably can't find it now. Usually I just put things back and I like slightly tweak it. But the last time I did this, I spent a long time tweaking it. I had a huge, huge, huge clear out. Um, no, I've been donating to charities for the last two, three years and it did get a bit ridiculous because I wanted to sell things in order to buy new things. So I donated 11 bags to charity. I literally had over 20 bags, like bin bags and those big laundry bags. They went to charity. My Depop is, is being, uh, what's the word, uploading as we speak. So there's lots of pieces on there and she's only got through a quarter for it. I have a friend that's doing it with me, obviously paid. Um, it takes so much time to sell, so it's a really big job. So check out my Depop, I think my name's Shakex, it's an old account. And then I have a lot of high-end designer pieces, the most I've ever sold with Luxury Promise. So amazing high-end pieces that you can buy from my wardrobe from Luxury Promise. The high street and high end high street, most of my stuff is high end high street to be honest. Like, I've got a lot of Zimmerman on there, a lot of Love Shack Fancy, like Reese suits with the labels on. Um, so, yeah, go check out my Depop as well. I can't find these pictures, but basically, my tip is if you really love the way that your wardrobe looks, take photos. Oh, here you go. So, I've taken pictures of the shoes and the bags. Can you see how it looked? And it's at like a warm, creamy white, like grey, creamy white, and not a stark white so um let's put all of these back together 
and we'll see how it looks at the end. It's going to be pitch black dark by the time I'm finished with this. I'm going to put the radio on and get to it. Alexa, play Christian worship. Do you love Christian worship? Christian praise. Makes me feel sing. I've, I've got an eye twitch. So I'm going to listen to some worship. Well, that's my new bag. Before the music comes on and I get copyright, fine. Uh, this is my new Birkin. It's been unboxed in the video before. And I, I actually didn't sell anything with Luxury Promise. I got vouchers. I always do that. And I, I got this. Had to pay a few thousand myself, but... I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart. No little bags done. I mean, it looks pretty fab, doesn't it? There was a bag in Luxury Promise that I really want. Um, it's the same as the Mademoiselle one here in, in like the last color that I want. And they had it the other day, but I bought that Birkin. So I couldn't really, you know, it was kind of that or the Birkin. So I'm glad like that. That does look so amazing, doesn't it? So yeah, I want one more Mademoiselle. And then I think my only option is, is to buy tiny bags and like fill them in because I don't really have any more room. But so happy with my bag collection right now. I'm gonna take like most of my bags. I mean, seeing as they're mostly in Chelsea, um, I actually find it safer in an apartment. I feel like it's much safer to keep them there. And then I'll take, cause I'm going away for over a month. I'm gonna take quite a lot with me. I'm not going for a few days, so um, I wanted to photograph and film this. I should probably come in the camera, shouldn't I? Um, so we have, it's so sad, but we have to have bars on the window. I have my steel door. Um, and then like this wall, you can't stand next to it. So it's really high. Does that make sense? It's part of the house that, you know, this wall here, there's no floor the other side basically that's why i chose this room um it's really sad but i was just looking at it thinking god maybe i should stop sharing this online because of what happens but i do i try to be as clever as possible when i keep a lot like having different addresses i think helps and i do find them it, it is more safe to have it in chelsea because it's crazy to think that apartment is safer, but I feel like it is because it's harder to get to those high floors and you've got to get through everyone else on the ground floor. Um, but yes, when I'm here and I'm filming content, this is how it looks. And it, it, it does, it is really frustrating that I have to keep on changing the whereabouts for safety. But at the same time, I don't mind because I like going through all my bags and checking for things and I, I clean all the shelves once a week anyway. So it's, it's not so bad. Now we've got to tackle the shoes. I can't even see myself. Now I've got to tackle the shoes, which takes so much longer. So let's move down to the other end. Here. I'm always pushing things too far. Okay, I'm finished. Um, I actually, I have some spaces missing because I already started packing my suitcase, like my black loafers I've packed and I thought it was just a bit ridiculous putting them back and then have to go downstairs so I'm gonna finish packing. Quick vlog, but it makes up for all the all the vlogs where I'm talking too much. This spider came from somewhere. I'm too scared to put it anywhere. Um, sometimes I have my caps on here, like the ones that I'm wearing all the time, and sunglasses. Yeah, I have my Louis Vuitton vanities, which I put all my makeup in. And I'm just sorting that out now. And then I have like an Hermes tray here. I don't actually have no mirror. Let me, yes, yeah, so I'm just sorting out my vanities. When I do the wardrobe chalk tour, I'm gonna show you all what's in here. So I used to have acrylic, acrylic trays, but I found a much better solution before I'm on Instagram. I've already shared them. It took me ages to find because the ones I wanted were in America. And it was too expensive to ship here. So finally found, found something, but you're gonna have to wait to the, the tour for that, see what's all going on inside. So yeah, basically I just have my Louis Vuitton vanities here. I'm looking for a nice mirror, like a stand, freestanding one. I have a tiny one here, but it's too small when I do my hair. That's the only thing I need to find. Um, I know this was such a super duper short vlog, but I just wanted to film me putting these back because I never film anything like this. Uh, just the tip where you, 
uh, take photographs of things. I recommend clearing out your wardrobe. I do recommend doing it like twice a year. Like a full empty out every single, every single cranny of your bedroom or your wardrobe, twice a year. It's one of those jobs that 10 minutes into it, you think, why have I done it? Mentally, no matter how OCD you are, mentally you will feel better and you'll definitely make some money or feel good about donating. I know it's such a tough job, but I've got so much to do and cleaning this and putting it all back and swapping it when I'm trying to be safe and keeping it in different places. It's really frustrating, but afterwards I feel like, okay, everything's safe, everything's clean, everything's tidy, it is worth it. So just a very quick vlog of me organizing. I've got all of my boots like underneath the vanity and then I have some bits like boots here, but I'll save it all for the reveal. So yeah, should I take you off actually and we'll like let you see everything. This is open because I keep all my caps in there. Mm, I think one's at the back. So yeah, all my boots down here. Um, these are the ones that like I wear all the time, like I, I wear those the most and it's just like easier. And I keep my little carry-on suitcase here because I don't want it to get damaged in the garage, plus I always use that. Love my shielding chair that I um, have the matching one at the other end of the room. This is my silly little mirror. I definitely need something bigger than that. Um, that's really nice actually, but I need something bigger. If you've got any recommendations for a beautiful vanity mirror that's not too big, I used to have like a trio one and that was just too big. It took up so much space, it blocked all the window. All my shoes here. Some are missing, like I said, because I'm packing them. All the bags. I found a couple of more bags like my her bags at the back there. All packed away, I'm gonna finish off packing. Sorry if it was short, is there anything else I can tell you? Things I wanna ask you. Do I use the shell doorknobs that I had before? I like it that these are white, kind of mixed in the background and it, it, the shells time with those shells. Or do I go for a more minimal vibe, which are the ones that I got with my fitted bedroom, who did the, these. They're like muted brass. Circle door knobs, insert picture. So do I have little gold knobs all the way along? Which fits nicely with that chair that will stay there? Or do I go for the shell ones? Do let me know. And which do you prefer? For the blinds, muted cream or a, like a natural linen? Would love to know your two opinions on these. Hello from Paris. We're a bit high, should we move you down? Um, I have such a terrible headache today, and um, I'm the oldest on this trip, which is usually the case. So we have arrived in Paris, and like like all press trips, is go, go, go. So we got up early, come on the Eurostar, love the Eurostar, hate flying. Got to Paris like an hour ago, have a shower, get changed out the door. I'm going to try and shoot, so we're here with Givenchy. Um, and I'm going to show you what we're celebrating later. Givenchy is one of our longest partners. Love the team. They do the best trips. Like we have the best trips with them. Um, and I'm finally, you know, I got these um, Givenchy boots. And when I got them, half of me was thinking I can't wait to wear these on a Givenchy trip to a Givenchy party. So finally you get to do that. They're really comfy as well, actually. I really want the grey ones. And I've just kept it simple, there's no mirror in this hotel, but um, so I can't do a selfie, but I'll definitely show you my outfit. I just kept it simple, long sleeve black top, because it's cold, oversized black blazer. I wanted a tailored wool black skirt, I don't have one and they're really hard to find. So, um, oh everybody's going down now. So just all black, do you want your boots? Go to Kelly Mini, which I always wear. I really wish that I'd had the cray, so I've got my natter with me. But it's like a trio, so it's a bit going on. So I'm wearing this. Are we ready to go? You know I don't like being late. You got your leather jacket, you got your camera, you got your flash. So we're gonna go for dinners. We're going to Coco's tonight, which I've never been to, and it looks so good. We're gonna go for dinner first. Um, try and shoot this outfit, then we're going to the Givenchy launch, and it's gonna be an amazing party. Um, do you want to say hello? See you're hovering in the background. Hello. Hello. Okay, you get, get ready. There's no light in here, so we'll, we'll see you downstairs. I'm gonna try and show you in here, but this is the um, only mirror 
and we all know that I'm not flexible, that's embarrassing, so I'll have to get Paris to show you my outfit, but I'm just really comfortable in this leather skirt, it's the only skirt I had. Yes, and that's my look, but definitely the shoes make the outfit. It's got some pearl earrings. I've got this, honestly, I wish this headache would go, but um, let's go see what they're such a big group as well. Um, but yes, let's go downstairs. I've got to tell you this story, so, um, there's only one of us with a balcony and I wanted to do a picture because it's raining and I didn't have a balcony and one of the boys on the trip has got a balcony and he said I could go and shoot in his room and this is a first. Like being on trips with boys is the best. They're so much more laid back. They don't, they don't care if you're going to take a photo, the same as them. We are at the Louvre. We decided to walk and um, now I'm like a drowned rat. The Eiffel Tower. It's there, just the tip of it. Um, so we just thought we'd walk, we need a little picture here. Um, insert picture, I guess. But it's starting to pick up with the rain, so we're gonna get a taxi. Did I tell you we're going to Coco? I'm not sure if I can film in there, but it looks so good. I cannot wait. Um, it's freezing. I'm so glad I put my tights on last minute. But yes, look, I had a blow dryer earlier. There's Paris in my Paris phone's hanging out my these boots they're definitely comfortable by the way literally been walking in them for 10 minutes two five six ten drinks at the bar no boundaries I get too close no little by little here cause I get my You have to get your photo done in front of everyone, and I freaked out. No, no, put it back. You'll get one later. Oh, look, here it is. No, no, got stuck on working on myself. 